Hello and welcome back. In this session, I just wanted to improve the performance of GA. We can do many things to improve the performance of GA. And in this session, we just wanted to work on the crossover. So uh, as I mentioned before that we just applied the single point crossover strategy to our code. So here we just wanted to add the double point crossover and unified crossover. Uh, just bear in mind that these two types of crossover is just new version of single point crossover so we just have uh, some explanation about these two types of uh, crossover and then we try to apply these uh, new strategies to the our code so let's just take a look at this uh, type of crossover the first one is just double point crossover so before for the single point crossover we just have a one cut point and here we have a two cut point so let's take a look at this strategy suppose that we have a parent one with this uh, solution representation and parent two with this solution representation so we just have a cut point this cut point would be randomly selected from one to n over minus one it means that we cannot select the last uh, variables so we have a two cut points here the first cut point is here and this is a second cut point and we just wanted to generate two offspring with respect to these uh, two cut points the offspring one the first part and the, the third part of a spring one would be grasped from the parent one so here we just um, uh, this part and this part is related to offspring one and it's just middle part is just grasped from the office the parent two and the four of spring two we just uh, grasped the first part and the third part of the uh, this parent one to the just uh, convey to the office spring two and the middle part we just grasped from the parent one so this is a uh, double point crossover and as you can see that this is quite similar to single point crossover we have also a uniform crossover the uniform crossover is would be different to single point and double point crossover so let's just take a look at this kind of operators so for uniform crossover we have two uh, two parents here parents one and parents two and we have to just generate a, a uf this is a actually our uh, our uh, uniform crossover you know for the alpha of crossover so if ufi he, this is a ufi if ufi would be equal one uh, y1 and our offspring would be equal to x1 and if ufi would be equal to zero y1 would be x2 so if we just wanted to uh, generate y1 or offspring one based on this uf based on this uf so uh, we have to do something like that so here this is a zero so for the y1 once this is zero we just uh, grasp it from the parent two so it will be equal to the parent two for the second one again it is zero so we just go to the parent two and uh, pick the second variable for the for the y1 and here we have a uh, which is equal to one so we just go to the parent one and uh, pick this variable here to the our uh, y1 so this happened for the other variables of the y1 or of a spring one and as you can see that once we just have a zero we just go to the parent two once we have a one we just go to the parent one so for the y2 or offspring 2 we just uh, see the to this uh, uf so if it is equal zero we just go to the parents one and if it is equal to one we just go to the parents two so we just go to the uf so if it is equal to one for y2 y2 would be equal x2 and if it is equal to zero so we just go to the x1 so we have here something like that since we have it equal to zero so we just go to the parent one again parent one and here we have a, a ufi would be equal to one so we just go to the parents two so we just uh, pick this variable to the over y2 
and this would be happen for all our variables that are related to the uh, y2 so we can use this formula for y1 and this formula for y2 as you can see that uh, once ufi would be equal to 1 we just to uh, y i would be x i and y2 would be x2 and once ufi would be equal to 0 y1 would be equal to x2 and y2 would be equal to x1 this is our general explanation for unifor crossover so let's just apply these two kinds of strategy to our code so let's get started and get back to our code so here we just have in our uh, code let's go to the back to VGA and we have a crossover here and we have to wanted to modify this kind of uh, our code so just go to back single point crossover and copy this code here and press edit and paste this uh, code so we wanted to double point double point crossover and we have to at first determine the number of variables and we have a two cut points so we wanted to uh, generate a two c and for the c1 we have a minimal value of c this is for c1 and this would be for c2 would be max value of c and, and uh, for y1 we have the x1 uh, 1 to c1 and c1 plus 1 to c2 and we have also x1 from c2 plus 1 to the end so this is for office spring 1 and this would be same thing for office spring 2 we have a uh, here x2 x1 here and x2 and this would be y2 so let's just save it this is a double point crossover let's just save it and apply to our code we just replace it here and let's just uh, up, let's just run this code and see what's happened bga as you can see this works so this is implementation of double point crossover to the our code so let's uh, go to the unifor crossover again we just copy this code here and press edit we have a uniform crossover at first we have to determine the number of variables and we do not use the cut we just use uf as a rand e between n 1 and 0 because we just wanted to generate a uniform uh, and uniform just would be between 0 and 1 and with this size 1 to n and according to the our uh, equation that we explained before y1 would be x1 multiple to ufi uf plus 1 minus x2 multiple uf so this is our uh, first equation for the uh, of spring 1 and this would be happen for us of spring 2 and we have a y2 here and this be x2 and x1 here so let's just save it this is a uniform crossover and let's just apply to our code and we can just paste the this function this new function here and let's 
just run our code here and see what's happened so as you can see that the our care has changed and uh, this strategy this operator has been successfully applied to the our codes so let's just uh, design in a procedure to select one of these crossover randomly so we have a uh, edit here so we have to, to define a function name crossover and function would be something like that y1 and y2 and this would be crossover with x1 and x2 Uh, to uh, select one of these uh, crossover strategy or operator we have to at first generate randomly uh, a number between 1 and 3 so if we selected 1 we just go to the single point crossover if we just selected 2 we just go to the double point crossover and if we just select if we go to the tree we just selected the uniform crossovers so let's just apply this idea to our code so we have a g rand i between one and three so we just wanted to use switch here switch g And we have uh, three cases here case one and case two and case three for case one we just apply single point crossover For case two, we just apply double point crossover. And for case three, we just apply uniform crossover. So let's connect the, this function yes, to this our code. And we just go here, single point crossover, just copy this function to our code and we have a double point crossover here and at the last we have a uniform crossover so as you can see that uh, once we have a one single point crossover would be applied and then double point crossover and once we have a tree we just apply the uniform crossover so we can apply this code to the our GAs just save it and get back to the main code Here we have a uniform crossover, let's just replace it with crossover, so uh, just try it, for example, if we just go to the crossover here, at first the G would be equal 1, so single point crossover would be applied, and then for the case 1, just select it, and we just go to the single point crossover, and single point crossover would be applied, and for the case and again for the another uh, crossover we have to go to the crossover again and for the second time unfortunately g1 is selected again so you can see that for the third attempt we just selected g3 so we just go to the case 3 and Unifor crossover is just applied to the over crossover. So as you can see that uh, we just uh, design a procedure and we can't select randomly one of these crossover 
and you can see another procedure that maybe comes with your mind so it's depend on you so i think that it's a good idea to use this strategy for your code so let's just run the code as you can see that's our code works so thank you very much for your attention see you in the next session